20 years ago, we developed a test we call the omega-3 index. And the omega-3 index is simply the amount of EPA and DHA in red blood cell membranes, which are circulating, of course, in the blood. Uh, at that time, we set a target of 8% as an optimal omega-3 index, a thing to aim for. And that's based on a lot of research showing that people that have levels that high uh, typically have better brain health, have better heart health, they live longer, uh, they have less joint pain, etc. So that's really the reason we think that's the right target. And again, on the other end of the spectrum, people who are down in the 4%, 3% area, uh, which is typically vegans, are commonly down there. And we've actually seen, uh, sadly, U.S. military uh, personnel stationed in Iraq I had an omega-3 index down under 4%, which is a real shame and needs to be addressed. Um, <clears throat> but it's actually one of the most remarkable things we've discovered in our research <clears throat> is that the omega-3 level, the omega-3 index, is a, a stronger predictor of risk for bad heart outcomes, shorter life, earlier death, than even a risk factor like cholesterol. So we think cholesterol is an important risk factor for heart disease, but we think the omega-3 index is even more important to know about. And the nice thing about the omega-3 index, you don't need to take any drugs to fix it. You just need to eat more omega-3.